Hi, my name is Sasha. Welcome back to my channel, Sash Reads, and this is my 12 Rex by 12 Friends. <laughs> So if you've been in the book community for a while, you might have seen this going around around the end of the year, every year, where you get 12 recs by 12 friends. Sometimes you can put like a question box up on your Insta stories and people just put their things in. This time around, I asked in Meredith's Discord and then I also asked some people specifically because I just didn't want, I don't know. I haven't really finished my 12 Rex by 12 Friends last year and I don't know if it's because I put it on my stories and I just had people put on their things that I don't really read or I don't know. Either which way, I'm very excited for this list. So let's get into it. So the first book on this list, this first recommendation was by one of my friends and subscribers, Tracy. She has recommended me Role Playing by Kathy Yardley. So Role Playing is a romance between these two older people. Uh, we've got Maggie who is 48 and we've got Aiden who is 50 and Maggie is a bit of a homebody. She doesn't really like to leave the house and in a pact she's made with her college age son, he's going to get out more if she gets out more and makes friends. So she goes online and joins this gaming guild run by this healer named Otter and she calls herself Bog Witch, so no one gets any other ideas. And Otter is this 50-year-old guy named Aiden. He is looking after his mum while his brother plays house with his ex fiance which seems a bit messy, so I'm very interested. Anyway, uh, it looks like Maggie and Aiden meet up, um, even though there might have been some miscommunication about who the other might be. And now I know I don't like miscommunication, but in this instance, like she thinks he's like college age, and I don't know. It sounds very interesting, and I know Tracy really, really enjoyed it, so I'm very excited to pick this up. So thank you so much, Tracy, for this recommendation. We've then got a recommendation from Zoe, who is at Book Reviews with Zoe. She has recommended me Kindred by Octavia E. Butler. Now, I have read Fledgling by this author, and I really enjoyed it. So I'm excited to read more by her, just because she is a, a classic author, and everybody loves her books. So Kindred is about Dana, who is on, I don't know, actually. She's a modern black woman who's celebrating her 26th birthday um, with her new husband. When she is snatched abruptly from her home in California and transported to the antebellum south. And then you've got Rufus, who's the white son of a plantation owner, is drowning and Dana has been summoned to save him. Dana is drawn back repeatedly through time to the slave quarters and each time the stay grows longer, more artists, and more dangerous until it is uncertain whether or not Dana's life will end long before it has a chance to begin. That sounds kind of scary. Not gonna lie. Uh, but I know a lot of people love this book and have changed their life. So I'm definitely excited for my life to be changed. So thank you so much, Zoe, for this recommendation. So this next recommendation was from my friend Amy over at Ducky Reads on Instagram. And this is called Breaking Out by Samantha Wayland. Now this is a MMF contemporary romance, which I'm very excited about. I loved Sarah Kate's, both her thrapples books. So I'm excited to meet, read more Thrupple books. So this is about Matty, Reese, and David. Um, it looks like Matty and Reese are like boss and employee. And then you've got David who becomes like 
protection, like a bodyguard possibly. I don't know, Goodreads isn't really giving me much, but I'm very excited for this just because Amy and I seem to read um, on the same like smutty level and I'm very excited to read this one because I just know her recommendations are going to be bomb. So thank you once again, Amy, for this recommendation. We've then got Before the Coffee Gets Cold by Toshikazu Kawaguchi, which was a recommendation by Sam over at Samantha Donovan. Also, I will be linking everyone down below, so definitely go check them out. They've got Instagrams, they've got booktubes. Just go check the channels, go follow, go subscribe, because I love all these people so very much. So Before the Coffee Gets Cold is sort of like... It's about this coffee shop where pretty much it's kind of like a time traveling coffee shop. You can order a coffee and you can sit down and then you can travel back in time to whatever you want. But like the catch is you have to be back in the coffee shop before your coffee gets cold or you're stuck in that time forever. And I believe we follow four different people. I don't know. I've been seeing this book everywhere. And I'm very excited that Samantha has asked me to read this one. Because it's on my 30 before 30 list. I've seen this really beautiful like foil cover over at Big W. So I think I'm going to go pick it up and have my own coffee for it. Coffee. And have my own copy of it. So thank you so much, Sam, for this recommendation. The next recommendation is is by Eliza. I always forget her channel name. I will obviously put her link down below, but this is Ink Blood Sister Scribe by Emma Tors, and this is a fantasy. I'm pretty sure uh, when Eliza was re recommending it to me, she like was just saying, she's like, favorite book of the year. Someone else needs to read it. So here I am, very excited to read it. So I believe this is about these two half-sisters, Joanna and Esther, who have been raised to revere and protect all these like magical books. The cover, that cover I can, I'm looking at isn't the greatest, but I think I've seen other covers. Uh, but yeah, I'm very excited to read this and I really feel like I need more like sisterly fantasy books in my life. So I'm very excited to hopefully have something to fill that hole and once again thank you so much Eliza for recommending this book to me. This next book is one I actually already own which is very exciting and that is The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. So this was recommended to me by Books by Emily. I will obviously link her down below but when she read this book earlier this year she absolutely raved about this book. She couldn't get over how good this book was. So I'm very excited that she recommended it to me. So this is about Clementine who had the worst day of her life six years ago. I mean, six months ago. Uh, so she came up with a plan to keep a heart safe. Stay busy, work hard, take new rests. And it's been working. That is, until one day she finds a strange man standing in her kitchen. A man with kind eyes, a crooked smile, and a recipe for the perfect lemon meringue pie. Oh, yum. The kind of man that before everything she could have fallen for. He's perfect, but for one thing. He lives in the past. Seven years ago, to be exact. So this has given me the Lake House vibes with like Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock. So very excited to get to this. There's a lot of hype for it. And I really, really enjoyed The Dead Romantics by Ashley Poston. Actually, I've really enjoyed all of Ashley Poston's work. But her like adult romances are just on a next level for me. So I'm very excited to pick this up. So thank you once again, Emily, for this recommendation. I then was recommended by Erin over at Sheevers and Shelves, Our Share of Night by Mariana Enriquez. This is a horror novel. Erin actually gave me a bunch of different choices and I'm just like, just give me something weird. Like, I know you love weird and I just want to read something weird. And she's like, look, she was having a really hard time. So... I'm just, I'll just read Ash Hour of Night because I know you want me to read it. She's like, but it's long. And I'm like, I don't care. I will try to read it for you, Erin. And I love this cover too. I don't know. It's, give, it's giving me horror vibes. Basically, Goodreads says, a woman's mysterious death has put her husband and son on a collision course with her demonic family. 
okay. So you've got a young father and son set out on a road trip, devastated by the death of the wife and mother they both loved. United in grief, the pair travel to her ancestral home where they must confront the terrifying legacy she has bequeathed. A family called the Order that commits unspeakable acts in search of immortality. For Gaspar, the son, that's that's a choice of name. The maniacal cult is his destiny. As the order tries to pull him into the evil, he and his father take fight, take flight, attempting to outrun a powerful clan that will do everything to ensure their own survival. But how far will Gaspar's father go to protect the child? And can anyone escape this fate? Very interesting, very excited. Thank you so much, Erin, for this recommendation. I really hope I like it so that we can stay friends. <laughs> and then the lovely Meredith over at Reading with Merb, who is just, I feel like, a core piece of Australian booktube. Not even just Australian booktube, just like uh, just booktube in general. She has like created this amazing space for all these booktubers and if it wasn't for her I don't think I would have met half of these people on this list. So thank you so much Meredith. Uh, but she has recommended to me Love and Other Disasters by Anita Kelly. Now this is a queer romance which is just all of my buzzwords and it's on a reality baking show so queer romance reality baking show Ooh, can I say any more I will <laughs> so recently divorced and on the verge of bankruptcy Dahlia Woodson is ready to reinvent herself on the popular reality competition show chef special too bad the first memorable move she makes is falling flat on her face sending fish tacos flying not quite the fresh start she was hoping for. Still, she's focused on winning until she meets someone she might want a future with more than she wants the money. And then after announcing their pronouns on national television, London Parker has enough on their mind without worrying about the klutzy competitor stationed in front of them. They're there to prove the trolls, including a fellow contestant and their dad, wrong. And falling in love will never be part of the plan. So I think they're going to get closer and I'm very excited. So thank you so much, Merb, for this recommendation. The lovely Wren has recommended me a T. Kingfisher book, very exciting. I read my first T. Kingfisher just the other day, actually, and so I'm excited to read more from this author. Yes, this recommendation is called What Moves the Dead, and it's a short horror novella. I think they were a nominee for Best Horror from Goodreads well, in 2022. Yes, we've got Alex Easton, who is a retired soldier, receives word that their childhood friend Madeline Usher is dying. They race to the ancestral home of the Ushers in the remote countryside of Riveria. Riveria? What they find there is a nightmare of fungal growths and possessed wildlife surrounding a dark, pulsing lake. <gasps> okay, this sounds so good. So Madeline sleepwalks and speaks in strange voices at night, and her brother Roderick is consumed with a mysterious malady of the nerves. Aided by a redoubtable British mycologist and a baffled American doctor, Alex must unravel the secret of the House of Usher before it consumes them all. So I do know that this is a retelling or a reimagining of the House of Usher, which I think is a classic. I haven't read that. I probably won't read it before I read this, but either which way, I'm very excited. T. Kingfisher, there's a couple of their works that I really want to read next year. They have just become like so popular in the book community. The Twisted Ones, it was okay, but I'm very excited to see their more popular novels to find out what the hype is all about. So thank you once again, Ren, for recommending this to me. And then we've got Find Me by Ashley and Rostek, which is the first novel in the Witsex series. And this was recommended to me by Brittany over at Brittany Loves Reading. This is a reverse harem novel. And I need to get back into my reverse harem. I read Bonds at Tie series by Jay Bree and the last year started this year. And I started, what's it called? Ruthless Boys of the Zodiac. And I don't know, I just, I need more 
psycho boys running after this one girl, to be quite honest with you. I don't really know much else about this reverse harem. All I know that it is a reverse harem. Um, and they've got really pretty covers too. It looks like this girl, her family has died. So she's living with her uncle now. Ooh, and so the four brothers who live next door are even more beautiful than the new home she lives in. I know that Colt, Creed, Keelan, and Knox. Okay, another Knox. But those names, why do they all have to like, rah, like, anyway, will soon become my everything. It's as if my lonely heart screamed out for someone good to find me. Four answered back. Thank you so much, Brittany, for this recommendation. I'm very excited. And then the lovely Shani over at, is it Shani Loves Books or Shani Ann Books? I think Shani Ann Books, who is a very dear friend of mine, has recommended me to read The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett. So this is about identical twins growing up together in a small southern black community until at age 16 they run away. Then years later, everything about their lives is different, their families, communities, and racial identities. One sister lives with her black daughter in the same southern town she once tried to escape, and the other sister secretly passes as white, and her husband knows nothing of the past. Still, separated by many miles and just as many lies, the fates of the twins remain intertwined. What will happen the next generation when their own daughter's storylines intersect? So this is very exciting. I do know this is on my 30 by 30 list as well, and... Um, a lot of people rave about this book, so I'm very excited to pick it up, and I'm thankful so much to Shani for putting this on my recommendation list for this year, and how beautiful is this cover? I love their gold foiling, and yes, I'm very excited to read this. Um, Shani just has some of the best recommendations. Her book club this month, we were to read um, Celeste Ng's Little Fires Everywhere, blew me away that book so if that book has like anything to this book I'm gonna get blown away even further to the other side of the world and then last but not least Jan from Jan Agaton has recommended me to read King of Wrath by Anna Huang now to be quite honest when I asked Jan this was not what I thought she was gonna recommend she is a big horror lit fit girly but she loves a good romance and she knows I love a good romance and I love the twisted games by Anna Huang so when Jam was like you need to read King of Wrath I was like okay so I have the indie version because I met Anna Huang back in April and it's even signed and I'm very very excited to pick this up. This is a arranged marriage between Dante and Vivian and I've been seeing all these like reels about it and just uh, like I just cannot wait to get to the moment where I don't know she's probably been kidnapped and he's like oh where is my wife? just so excited very very excited we have met Dante in Twisted Hate and Twisted Lies probably in Twisted Games too if I'm being honest so I'm very excited to read more about him and about Vivian and yes thank you so much Jen for this recommendation I'm so excited to pick it up and to read the rest of the series because this is going to be a seven book series it's about all the different Seven Deadly Sins, so we've got King of Wrath, we've got King of Greed, and King of Pride is out right now, and she's in the middle of making King of Sloth. Very excited. So those were my 12 Rex by 12 friends for 2024. Once again, thank you to everyone who recommended these books to me. I'm very excited to get to all of them. And yeah, don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram and Goodreads over at Sash Reads. You can also like and subscribe if you want to see more videos by me. I am doing Book Miss this year, just the 12 days of Book Miss, so you'll see another video from me tomorrow. But I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you next time. Bye.